So, okay. So, we start. Fine. So, today we are going to cover mutual funds. Last time we covered mutual funds regarding equities. Okay. So, we covered large cap, mid cap, small caps. Fine. And I have already uploaded a video also. You might have watched it. How many people have not watched? Students have not watched? Aapne nahi dekha. Please watch. Aap logo ke liye dala. Aap nahi aaye. Aap aaye the. You attended the class. So, why didn't you watch? Aapne class bhi attend nahi kari. Watch bhi nahi kara. So, that's not good. So, please watch. Otherwise, you will not be able to understand what I am saying. So, mutual funds will be doing debt mutual funds. Okay. So, without wasting time. So, we start. So, if you look at the screen, there are various kinds of debt mutual funds. You know, this is the SEBI classification of mutual funds. Uh, it starts with low duration, short duration, medium duration, and it keep, goes on. And the last one is the liquid mutual funds. Okay, fine. So, there are plenty of mutual funds, uh, debt mutual funds. And you will find a word called duration always used. Have you heard the word duration earlier? Uh, Makale's duration? The duration kya kara? Time duration? No. I am talking about Makale's duration. Kabhi suna is naam kab? Huh? Makale's duration. Suna. Good. Very good. So, one Pankaj has this. That's wonderful. So, so, before we understand, so we must understand what are bonds. Jalak, please. Palak or Jalak? Jalak. So, Jalak, please focus. This is very important. So, no talks. Just listen. Okay. Kuch baat nahi karoge aap. Sirf sunoge. Okay. Fine. So, I will just take you to, you know, first to understand the bonds. Now, you know, bonds. You might have heard, I mean, studied the subject bonds in financial management. Isn't it? Have you studied? Yes, sir. Okay. So, bond has a face value. Has a coupon rate. And has a maturity period. Okay. So, I am taking an example where the bond uh, face value is 100 bucks and coupon rate is 7 percent. Okay. Normally, it is a rate which is the current market rate. So, currently, it is around hovering around 7 percent. Maturity period of this bond is 10 years. It is a 10 year bond which has been issued by an issuer. It can be government or it can be any company. Okay. Company also issued bonds and the, the, yeah, the government also issued bonds. The state government, central government, they issue bonds. Now, let's say the above bond was issued in 2021 and maturing in 2030. So, that means it has 10 years. So, if you can just see, it starts with a face value of 100. Minus 100 means you have given this 100 rupees to, to, to the issuer, either government or company, and you are getting 7 rupees every year. And right at the end, you are going to get 107. That means 100 rupees back plus 7 rupees coupon at the end. Is that clear? Okay. Now, now, it's a very simple thing to calculate what is the return you are getting because it's a 7% coupon. So, you should get 7% return. So, this is called yield to maturity. If you hold this bond till 10 years, your return will be how much? 7%. Now, this can we can use a formula to calculate that. Though it looks easy, but as we go this thing and we find that the bonds, you buy the you can buy the bonds from the primary market as well as from the secondary market. Primary market is from the issuer directly and secondary market is you go to the stock exchange and buy it. Okay. So, <clears throat> you can buy a second in bond. So, the formula is IRR. So, just go to the formula and go to uh, IRR. Okay. And pick up all the values right from the beginning 100 rupees spent and you got 107 rupees in say 10 years. So, that means you are getting 7%. So, it is called yield to maturity. So, that is a very, very important concept which is called yield to maturity. Never forget yield to maturity. That means if you buy a bond on any day and hold till maturity, what the return you are getting is called yield to maturity. Now, this may already differ. I mean, it looks to be very simple here. So, let's say after two years. After two years, please just hold. First, I will just cover this and then ask question. Suppose after two years, the current interest rate is 6%, which means the interest rates have come down. The bond issued two years back was carrying 7% coupon rate. Now, the same company who, were, who issued bond at 7% will be issuing the bond at 6% or any other company will be around that depending upon his credit rating. Okay, fine. So, uh, uh, assume that's the same company at the moment, but it can be any company. Suppose it issues 6% this thing. 
Now you have a choice either to buy a new bond which is carrying a coupon rate of 7% or a buy a, a, a second hand bond which is in the market, uh, the old bond which is giving you 7% coupon rate. Okay. Now it doesn't mean that if you buy the old bond you will get 7% because this bond will be in demand. Okay. Because it is carrying 7% coupon rate. So that means the price of the bond will shoot up in the market. Okay. It will give you a capital. The person who has bought it will give him a capital appreciation. Now, if you buy this bond, if you go and look at the price of the bond, ideally speaking, this bond should be selling at 106.21. Why so? Because it will give you same 6% yield to maturity, which will be equivalent to the current bond, which is issued by the same company now. Okay. Because if you buy the bond, either second hand bond or the, the, the new bond, it will carry the kind of same kind of a return. Otherwise, people will all start buying old bonds rather than buying the bond from the issuer. So what is the purpose then? Okay. So the bond will appreciate to 106.21. So how do we know? How do we calculate that? We just, uh, you know, go to again the IRR. So here uh, I use the formula IRR and now I pick up this 106. I'll tell you how this 106 has come and just, you know, enter this. So, so it gives me 6%. Now I have two choices, either to buy the bond from the market primary market or from the secondary market. But I find the price so such that it gives me no choice, isn't it? Suppose, suppose this bond, you know, goes to, uh, suppose this bond was selling at 105 rupees in the market. Fine. Suppose this bond was selling at 105 because the bond has not gone up to 106. It will take some time to people to realize that and it may be available at a little higher or lower value. Okay. So if it is available at 105, how much return you're getting? 6.19% from the secondary market. If you buy, you get 6.19%. But if you buy this bond from the issuer, you will be getting only 6%. From where are you going to buy the bond? From the primary market or the secondary market? No, from the secondary market. Primary market is the issuer. Secondary market is the, the, from the market itself. Market is giving you 6.19%, isn't it? So you're going to buy from the second hand market, which is the secondary market, isn't it? Because the bond price has gone up to uh, 105. Suppose I say the bond prices go to say 107. Now what happens? How much return you are getting in the secondary market? 5.88% and the issuer is giving you 6%. So from where you will buy the bond? Primary market or the secondary market? Primary market because the issuer is giving you 6%. Whereas if you buy the bond from the uh, secondary market, you get only 5 because the bond is overpriced at the moment, isn't it? In the market, some of it is selling 107. Is that okay? Okay. So, uh, just remind me, I'll, uh, I'll introduce another, yet another little complicated uh, concept, not a complicated, but easy to explain. It's called dirty pricing. Okay. Dirty price. Bonds are always selling at dirty price, which means the bond will be selling at little higher price. Okay. Say 100, and, uh, sorry, will be selling at say 108 rupees. Okay. It looks that you are getting 5.73% return, but it's not the case because if you buy the bond from the market, uh, the person who has held the bond say for six months, okay, he should be entitled for that 6% rate, uh, that 6 uh, interest 7 ka aada uska hona chahiye aur aada hona chahiye uska jisne abhi khari hai. Okay. Now the person who has bought it now, he will be getting the entire 7 rupees at the end of the year. Whereas the guy who has sold the bond midway, he's losing that money, isn't it? So the bond will be priced in such a way that the interest for six months get priced in the bond price in the market. And that's called the dirty price. Okay. That's called the dirty price. Then you have to segregate how much is the interest he's getting, how much is he's getting appreciation or depreciation because of the bond going up and down as I've explained. So he's getting some appreciation. I, I mean, the guy who is, uh, you know, uh, selling the bond, he will get how much? 108. 108 will represent some amount of interest and some amount of appreciation happening because the interest rates have come down. Is that okay? Fine. Now, let's go back and come back to the, you know, the price, which is an equivalent price, where uh, assuming that this is a, uh, ignoring the concept of dirty price, so the bond, if there is no interest involved, 
uh, I mean, it's right on the day when, you know, the, the interest meter starts and he sold it the first day itself. So it will be selling at 106 because that means all entire interest will belong to the buyer and not to the seller. So he will, uh, he can buy the bond at 106 from the market. Okay, <coughs> fine. So now if you look at the interest rate, coupon rate was how much? 7%. The interest rate in the market has come down to 6%. That means the issuer is issuing the bond at uh, 6%. So the interest rates drop, the bond prices go up. There is an inverse relationship between the interest rate and the market price of the bond. Let's check that. Suppose if the, if the interest rate goes up to 8%, the old bond was carrying 7%, so nobody is going to buy the old bond. Everybody is going to you know buy the, the new bond because it is giving you 8% from the issuer, where the person will go. Now the bond will, that means this bond, if somebody wants to sell, he's in a desperate need of money, so he has to give a discount to, to the people because then you know in that case nobody is going to buy uh, the bond at 100 rupees because it is going to give him only uh, you know uh, seven percent whereas the current bond in the market is selling at eight percent so there will be a decline in the bond price as the coupon as the interest rate goes up the bond prices fall as the interest rate falls the bond prices go up now let's check, check this up okay fine so this is your you know uh, this this how it is calculated uh, i'll just show you here 94 and both formulas are the same here the interest rates have gone down okay so what we use the formula is net present value npv for yield to maturity we use irr and here we are going to put the current rate okay the current coupon coupon rate was 7% whereas the rate has come down to 6% now first case and next case 8% let's say first 6% so 6% okay and then I pick up the values. Here, I pick up the values, uh, you know, right, uh, you know, uh, from, from this point to this point. Okay, fine. So here what I'm doing, I am calculating the net present value. That means he's going to get 7, 7, 7, 7 and 107 at the end of the uh, eight year period because two years already gone. So how much is the present value of that bond at 6% coupon at the 6% interest rate. So that means it will be uh, 106.21. So this is how to calculate, this is to calculate the theoretical value of the bond price. So if you go to the market and find that the bond price, if it is 106.21, because you just calculate it that way, okay, fine. And if it's selling at 106.21, then you can think that you can buy it from the market or from the issuer it amounts to the same thing okay so you have calculated the theoretical value of the price of the bond by looking at this isn't it so now here i have to do i will uh, uh, go to the npv and uh, pick up what is the rate of interest now eight percent very good okay and now i'm going to select the values okay i'm going to select the values all these values okay so that sorry So when I select all, that means if you are going to get now 777, we are going to buy the old bond, isn't it? Which is going to give you 7 rupees coupon and at the end 107. So what is the present value if discounted at the rate of 8%? Okay. Which means 94.25. So the price of this bond, which carried a coupon rate of 7%, whereas the current interest rate is 8%, should be selling at a discount. How much? 94.25. As against... If the coupon rate has gone up from seven, uh, the, uh, gone down from seven to six percent, then the bond price should be 106, because when the interest rates come down, the bond prices go up, and when the interest rates go up, bond prices come down, and other way around. When the interest price goes down, then the bond prices go up. Okay, I mean both ways. I said the same thing. Okay, is that okay? Okay, just hold on. I, I can ask the question now. The time is coming. Okay, yeah. Now you can ask the question. Yeah, please take the speaker. So we have studied different subjects like bond comes near to maturity. X comes to its face value. Yeah, that's right. And sir, you are calculating NPV. It's not coming to face value. 95.25 is the face value of the bond. 9.94? 94.25 is the face value of the bond. No, no, it is not the face value. It is, yes, just listen to me. That means, Pankaj, you are not, two years have gone. There are eight years still remaining. ओके okay, 8 साल पड़े हुए हैं अभी बॉन्ड फेस वैल्यू पे थोड़ा आ जाएगा बॉन्ड का फेस वैल्यू तब आएगा जब वो आखिरी साल में होगा 
you know that's a very good question just i'll i'll refine that you know what is that question that is very important for you to understand your question is valid but you must know how what what is the purpose now suppose if you are holding the bond till maturity okay suppose now the bond is selling at say 94.25 this is only for the person who wants to sell the bond suppose you are holding this bond at 7% coupon rate okay if you hold the bond till maturity you are going to get the 100 rupees 107 rupees at the end okay fine neither you are going to lose nor you are going to make any capital gain if you have a intention to hold the bond till maturity but this 94 and 106 price are only valid for two people one who want to exit the bond okay because at this point the bond may go up or bond may go well you may go down if i want to make a, if my if my intention was to buy the bond and sell it after a couple of years because i expect the interest rates to go down the bond price will go up so i am going to invest in a bond okay now that is that gives you a very good strategy for investing if you think the interest rates are going to go down it's better to buy bonds now because they're going to appreciate so you'll get a capital appreciation plus the coupon both okay but if the interest rates instead of going down but goes up so you start losing so then what is the you know strategy you hold the bond till maturity why should you suffer and get 94 rupees this price is only for those people who want to exit for from the bond because they can't hold the bond for 10 years they need money okay fine now uh, the banks in india they hold bonds they hold bonds okay banks have to buy bonds government bonds it is mandatory for them to maintain their reserve ratios okay now when the banks are buying their banks you know almost like 70 to 80 percent i don't know exact percentage but they buy the you know whole lot of bonds and all banks have sitting with investments uh, you know in government treasuries okay as per the rbi regulation now they have to tell when they are making their balance sheets they have to tell they have to you know i mean given this thing in the balance sheet how much bond they are holding till maturity what is the intention to hold the bond till maturity if sup suppose they say that i am holding 100 crore bond suppose punjab national bank and my aim was to hold this bond till maturity then they don't have to book any losses even if they or book any gains because of the bond price is going up and down because the market price of the bond will be different than than the price at which they bought so if the price of the bond have come down so they have suffered a loss okay or if the price of the bond have gone up so they have made a gain so they don't have to disclose disclose that gain or loss in their balance sheet at, on 31st of march if they have declared their bond that they are going to hold till maturity if they say that this bond we are holding for sale for investment purposes then we'll be exiting from this bond then in that case they have to show at mark to market price that means whatever the price of the bond currently is they have to reflect that in their balance sheet if they are making a gain that will come in the treasury income if they are making a losses they will be I mean, they will be booking treasury losses is that okay so banks say and there is a regulation by rbi at how much percentage they can hold for sale how much percentage they can hold take, i mean should be held for maturity they can't say that 100% of the bond they are holding till maturity or 100% of the bond they are going to sell in next couple of years whatever when okay so they have to give and there is there was you know a a, a bank call uh, which collapsed international bank last year what was the name of that silva what was that silicon valley. silicon valley so silicon valley collapsed because they were holding bonds and uh, they uh, they have uh, you know they have said they are going to hold the bond till maturity and uh, what happened the fed you know they they keep on increasing the interest rates so they bought it at the time before the interest rates were very uh, negligent and then the interest rates started going up so their bond values they lost almost 20 billion dollars in the market value of the bond okay so they have not not disclosed in their balance sheet okay but because they are saying that we are holding till maturity so we are meeting the accounting standard international accounting standard we are not they were not supposed to but what happened they required money the people you know who had given money to the uh, to the silicon valley bank they approached they were all you know the startup companies and they required money for whatever purpose so uh, you know they uh, and they had to sell these bonds and these bonds were sold at losses and then they had to book that losses in their balance sheet then the whole accounting concept you know came for scrutiny that you know they should change it because you know such kind of things that can happen they have not factored in that whereas you know indian government indian banks are very conservative they always you know show things properly whereas the american banks they always find ways how to Uh, you know uh, uh, find the loopholes of uh, these uh, i mean standards and 
uh, and show something which is, you know, looks to be very good, but actually underneath there is a fire. Okay. So, yeah. No questions, please. So, basically, if I am an investor, and I know you are about... If you are a long-term investor or a short-term investor, say that. that. I am a, I would say a short-term investor. Short-term investor, yeah. So in this particular case, 94.25 would be the correct uh, uh, time to buy, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, no, uh, again... Suppose it comes to 94.25, fine. So it was 7% coupon rate. It has come down. It has come to what? 8%. Okay. Now from 8% onwards, you are thinking the interest rate will not go up. It will go down. It's the right time to buy at 94.25. Agar 8% pe agya bond, interest rate agya hai. Aur aap sochte ye peak of interest rates hai. And the interest rates are going to decline from here on. And there are sites which tell you that projection. This side I'll take you, which gives you a one year projection of the interest rates of India. Okay. If you find the interest rates are, I mean, uh, declining henceforth, so it will be right time to buy bond of 100 rupees at 94.25 and then the chances of appreciation will be much higher because it has already declined a lot, okay? But so maybe it may happen that it may decline a little bit further, but it will appreciate over a couple of years, okay? So you, it will be better to buy a bond when it has declined, okay? Or even buy at 100, uh, whatever price, if you think that there will be, suppose you are 106 rupees, okay, bond. <laughs> Now, the interest rate is 6%. If you think it will go to 5%, it's again right time to buy because the bond price, if you buy 100 things, it may go to 110. Fine. Suppose, you know, I say that, uh, you know, uh, the bond price goes to, say, 5%. I'm just saying 5% here. So, bond price will go to 112. Look at the screen. Agar 5% ho jayega, to 112 pon jayega. Okay? Fine. So, if you buy 106 and interest rate decline from 7 to 5, so bond price are going to go up. Is that okay? Is that clear? Okay. Any questions? So now, you know, uh, huh. so just take out an Excel sheet, open an Excel sheet and look at this question. The answer is right beneath. Don't check the answer unless if you're very confident that you know it and you want to check, you can check. I'll just otherwise show. So, the bond face value is 100, coupon rate is 8%, ES to maturity is 7 years, current market price of the bond is 106, current rate of interest is 7%, required calculate yield to maturity. So, here the bond price, okay, just, just read this and try to calculate In case you are finding some issue, you can even see the answer. It's screen, it's available on your Excel sheet, but try to do it yourself and find that you are getting the same price. Have you got it? WhatsApp is here, na, bhai.
So I put the answer on your screen, okay? You can just have a look and just check whether you're getting the right one. So, okay, so, uh, have you uh, got something about it? No. So I think it's easy one, okay? Just look at this here, now on the screen and check. So uh, you want to calculate the 106 is with the current price, okay? And you are getting going to get 8% coupon and 108 at the end. So you want to know what is the yield to maturity. Here you have to apply RRR. You so pick up everything and calculate what is the price. So you are getting 6.89% yield to maturity. Though the coupon rate is 8%, but you are getting 6.89% yield to maturity. Is that okay? Have you followed? Anand, is it clear? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Then this was to calculate the yield uh, maturity. Now you have to calculate the bond price. Okay. So, look at the question here. The bond face value is 100. Coupon rate is 12%. Yield to maturity is 7 years. Current coupon rate is 8%. Required, calculate the market price of the bond. What should be the market price of the bond which gives you the same return uh, which the current coupon will be giving you. Okay. Ab jo current coupon is 8%. De ra, so, market price should adjust to that. Okay. So, that means you are uh, the price, calculate the market price of the bond. I can just add uh, that which gives you the same return of the new uh, coupon rate, okay? <coughs> so, I just made a change here to make it a little more clear. Calculate the market price of bond. Uh, so as to give the same return as per the new coupon rate. Okay, fine. So uh, anyway, you can do it. I know you can try it home, definitely. Okay, because since we have to cover a lot of ground, so how do we do that? So you are going to get now. What is the current coupon rate, Anand? Current coupon rate is eight uh, percent. Eight percent and old coupon rate. 12%. So it's a seven-year bond. Look at the screen. So you're going to get seven in seven years, 12, 12, 12, at the end, 112. Okay. And you are going to, uh, you know, calculate the net present value uh, of the bond uh, for from figure 12, 12, 12, 112 and discount it at the rate of 8%. So that means the market value will be 120.83. Is that okay? Is it clear to all of you? Any doubts anywhere? Okay. So you can try this at after the class. Please do try. Okay. Fine. Otherwise, you will not. Remember, okay, now, okay, so the most important concept, so please focus here, okay, fine, I have made, made it little simplified using, you know, uh, the, the Excel sheet uh, formula rather than doing it through a, a long route, so there are something called Macaulay duration and modified duration, so we are going to understand that, okay, fine, suppose you buy a bond, Listen to me and answer me. Just raise your hand and answer me. Suppose you buy a bond of 100 rupees. Okay. It carries a coupon rate of 25%. Okay. 25%. And it has a 10 year maturity period. Okay. So in which year you will be recovering all the money which you had put at the time when you spent the bond? Fourth year. So Makali duration is nothing but the time when you recover all your amount. Four years, okay. But आपको मैं example दे रहा हूँ to understand the Macaulay's duration, okay. Just try to understand that, okay. Please walk, listen to me. There, there's something more to it, okay. So Macaulay's duration not that easy. It's a complicated formula <coughs> because you just can't add uh, 20, 25, 25, 25, and say that four years you have got all 100 rupees back because the, it has a time value, isn't it? So, you can't just add. So, it will be four years and few months, isn't it? If you apply the time value and discount those cash flows, okay, and make a present value of those 25 rupees and it will be somewhere around four and between four to five years, you're going to uh, cover the entire uh, in, uh, principal. You get the principal back in four and a half years, okay. So, it is nothing to do with the maturity period or the period of the bond, 
bond can be for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, but you try to find out in what given period you are going to cover your the principal back. Okay, fine. So that is nothing but Macaulay's duration. Okay, the formula for that, I'll show you the formula, it looks to be very complicated. Okay, and uh, then there's something called modified duration. Now, because we know that the interest rates and bond price have inverse relationship. So, the modified duration is an extension of Macaulay's duration. It will calculate and give you a figure so that if there is a 1% change in interest rate, how much will the bond price react to it, either go up or go down. So, that is the figure given by, by modified duration. So, so, the modified duration becomes a very important number to look at. Okay, If it says 3, 3%, so that means if there is a 1% change in the interest rate, it will go up by 3% or go down by 3%, depending on which way the interest rates are going. Okay, fine. So let's, uh, we, I will understand that more in detail. I'm just talking about as. So first of all, how do we calculate Macaulay's duration? So there's a formula in Excel sheet. Okay, fine. So a bond face value is 100 rupees and coupon rate is 10%. Current rate is 12%. Okay, so coupon was 12%, current rate is 12%, bond face value is 100 and date of issue was 15-8-2020 and date of maturity is 15-8-2025. So, I just put this into box, okay. Settlement date, maturity date, coupon rate, yield rate and now we come to duration. So, what we use is that we, uh, if you, you know, use a formula to find out, it is basically using all the numbers, isn't it? So, uh, okay. I remove it. So, I just put the number here, okay, and uh, go to, you know, formulas and pick up duration. So, first we are doing duration, isn't it? Okay. So, duration is settlement date. So, pick up this. Maturity date, pick up this. Okay. And uh, coupon, pick up this. And yield, pick up this. Now, frequency is basically, uh, you know, uh, how much interval you are getting the interest rate. So, leave it blank, that means it will become yearly, okay. Okay, so I am not putting any amount in frequency, I am just leaving it untouched. So, you have entered few, less arguments. <coughs> ah, one day, okay, okay. Sorry. So, recently used duration. So, settlement date and maturity and coupon and yield and put one. One means that the coupon rate is paid annually. Maybe that you are getting, uh, you know, after six months you are getting interest, then it will be two. Okay. So, you get 4.132. So, this bond is for how many years? Five years. But you are getting an entire principal amount in 4.13 years. Okay. Now, so let, let's say, uh, let's say that, you know, uh, I increase this uh, coupon, uh, uh, the coupon rate to say, for example, say if I increase it to 20%, what will happen to Macaulay duration? It will go up or go down? It will go down. It will go down, yeah. So, let's say 20%. Sorry. So, it is going down to 3.54. Okay. So, what I have done, I have kept the yield also pegged to the this thing. So, what I have done, C15 plus 2% here I have said. So, there is a difference here, you know, if you look at in this formula, it is 10 and 12. Okay. Fine. Abhi original formula ye tha ki coupon rate was 10% and current yield is 12%. So, just to keep the, maintain the parity that currently the interest rate is 12%. So, that means whenever the, the coupon rate, you know, goes up or goes down, which means that the the yield will also go up and down at the same this thing. So I just and just to explain that, okay, nothing else. So suppose the coupon rate goes to 40%. So what will happen? The the Macaulay duration will become 2.81, isn't it? Fine. Is that okay? Okay. So now coming back to uh, this thing. So this is the Macaulay's duration, 4.13. So higher the Macaulay's duration, more riskier is the bond. They say. It's like a beta in stock market. Okay. If high beta means more risky stock, a high Macaulay duration means it will have a higher sensitivity to interest rates. If the interest rates go up, go down, they will react. 
much much higher than a bond which has a lower macaulay's duration so we'll just take that okay there's an example which i've given now the macaulay's duration and modified duration second okay the formula is almost the same slight diffusion so here you are getting 3.69 which means there will be 3.69 percent change with every person one percent change in the coupon rate with the market rate sorry agar market rate ek percent badega ek percent ghatega to 3.69 percent se upar niche jayega ye bond ki value okay so we'll check that okay so first of all let's understand the formula for that uh, recently used now we go to m duration okay and pick up you know the settlement date and uh, the maturity date okay coupon rate okay and the frequency is one though on the face the form the uh, formula is the same but the back end calculation is different okay by the excel sheet fine so it gives you 3.69 isn't it so look at the macaulay's duration look at the modified duration okay to understand which bond is more risky which bond is less risky when i say risky it means it is more sensitive to interest rate change agar interest rate upar niche hoga bond ki value up ho jayegi aapne bond hold kara hoga agar interest rate upar badh gaya to bond ki value gir jayegi so you will not be happy fine isn't it of course you can hold till maturity and sell it and and get the money but when you are invested in mutual funds you can't do that fine it's not easy to do that because there the fund manager is having the power to sell the bond you don't have it isn't it just listen to me very important anand what i'm telling you suppose you buy the bond yourself from the market you can hold till maturity it's okay nobody's going to stop you but when you have bought a mutual fund which has invested in these bonds then you don't have the steering kisko kab bechna hai mujhe aapko main baad mein bechunga kuch nahi kar sakte wo to fund manager ke upar depend karta hai so aapka jo bond aapka jo aapko jo return milega do tak coupon rate is 8% maybe that you are getting only 6% return in that year okay because the uh, it is giving you only 6% because the the, the 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 yield will drop okay fine and you will find that you are getting only 6% return from that mutual fund and not the coupon rate only when you will get it when you hold the bond till maturity bhai jab tak nahi hold karoge to kahan se milega to 6% mil raha hai agar aapko us saal paise ki zarurat hogi okay and you have you know what you have done you have thought okay let me have say 10 lakh rupees i am going to park them in mutual fund debt mutual fund and then i am going to buy i am going to gradually you know migrate to equity funds which gives you higher return the moment you sell the old i mean mutual fund you are going to get only 4% so that means you are not going to capture that you that means you are selling your bond at a lower value it will amount to that people don't realize it people sell it okay and you know migrate to equity that i have done in my life okay fine so fine so i'll just complete that whatever i said we'll go to the funds and we'll understand this comes up very well okay now let's look at this to to find out you know whether what i have said is true or false okay now suppose look at this this bond was 100 bucks coupon rate is 10% 110 the same bond i'm talking about okay suppose the bond value uh, you know at 12% fine at 12% the value of bond has come to 96 you know what happened was i'll just tell you here uh, okay let me just see c15 c15 is there ha ha okay fine see now i'm saying So suppose the coupon rate is 11 per. So the market rate is 11 percent. Now suppose it is though it is given 12 percent. I am saying it is 11 percent. Okay, just for understanding. Now what should be the market value if the the yield that means the market rate drops to 11 goes up to 11 percent. अगर वो 11 percent होगी क्या होगी bond price गिर जाएगी, है ना? अभी 10 percent पे खरीदा था आपने coupon पे. अब उसका rate 11 percent आ गया market में. Fine. So old 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 bond will price is going to fall. Isn't it? So what we do is we just you know go to the formula and calculate what what formula we have to use NPV, isn't it? Oh, sorry, not uh, NPV. So what is the you know value? Eleven uh, percent. Okay, and which values I have to choose? Right from this to this. 
सॉरी ऊपर आ गया आई आर आर करने के लिए आपको पहला वाला भी लेना पड़ता है फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द करंट वैल्यू द बॉन्ड आई चूज दिस सो हाउ मच द बॉन्ड प्राइस गोज टू विद वन परसेंट चेंज इट गोज टू नाइनटी सिक्स इज इंट सो विच मीन्स हाउ मच यू हैव सफर्ड अ लॉस ओके हाउ मच लॉस यू हैव सफर्ड विच मीन्स यू नो हंड्रेड रुपीज वॉज द प्राइज ऑफ द बॉन्ड एंड नाउ यू नो द प्राइज ऑफ द बॉन्ड इन द मार्केट इज नाइनटी सिक्स सो हाउ मच यू आर लूजिंग How much you are losing? Three rupees seventy paisa. On what price? On hundred rupees. So how much it is? Three point seven percent. One percent bond drop hua. How much you lose? Three point seven percent. And see the macal, see the modified duration. What it's telling you? Three point six nine percent. Very near to the which you calculated yourself. Have you got it? So macal is modified duration. This is basically just checking whether the macal duration number which I have given to you is right number or wrong number. So we, when we calculated the Macaulay duration using the Excel sheet, we found the Macaulay duration was 3.69. Okay. Now, now we found that if this bond price is reacts by, you know, if the coupon rates, you know, goes up by one percent, what will happen to the bond price and how much you are going to lose, isn't it? So you found that bond price was 96 at one percent change. So that means how much you have lost? Three rupees seventy paisa. Three rupees seventy paisa on hundred rupees, it comes to 3.7 percent, which I have calculated here. Look at the formula. So I've done divided by the face value here, D21, okay, which is your this thing. In both of them, it's about 3.7 percent. I have calculated. So you lost how much? 3.7 percent. That is what the modified duration is telling you, isn't it? Is it okay? Okay. Now, if you have not followed so far, so there's another golden opportunity for you. Ah. Huh. नहीं अभी आप अरन जस्ट होल्ड ऑन विद योर प्रोसेस एक बात मिनट के लिए एक और मैं कराने वाला हूं एक चीज आई थिंक योर क्वेश्चन विल गेट वट एवर इज इन योर माइंड विल गेट आंसर इट सेल्फ देन यू आस्क इट अगेन इफ यू आर नॉट ओके सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मस्ट गो थ्रू देर टू शीट्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ओके विच आई हैव प्रिपेयर इड आफ्टर माई ओन एनालिसिस ओके फाइन नो वेर अवेलेबल इन द बुक्स नाउ यू नो दे आर बॉन्ड्स 20 year bond 10 year bond 5 year bond 3 year bond 2 year bond 1 year bond okay so bond can be issued by a company for 1 year 2 years 3 years 10 years 20 years isn't it now suppose the coupon rate is 9% for all these bonds assuming okay so you are going to get 99999 and at the end of 30 years 109 so please focus don't uh, speak i mean among yourself then 10 years similarly after 10 year is that okay yes. just look at the concept you should open your excel sheet and look at this concept okay and so it is telling you you know how much money you are going to get after the at the time of maturity is that clear yes, now this is a 20 year bond okay 9% is a coupon rate okay at 9% the value is 100 you make 8% the rate of interest falls 8% the coupon the rate will go to Uh, the coupon oh, sorry the market value of the bond will go to 109.82 how much you have gained 9.82% kitna aapko 1% uh, interest rate kam hone se 30 years 20 years ka bond kitna bad gaya close to about 10% isn't it now the same very bond which is 10 years bond with the same this thing when the interest rate declines from 9 to 8 you gain only 6.7% so that means a bond which is having a 20 year period will definitely if the coupons rates are same they will have the same modified duration and macaulay's duration they will behave like that okay so uh, uh, and you know here i have given the macaulay's duration also here so before that we understand here so 9 se 8% hua to ye bond sirf 6.7% hi bada so if you think the let us listen to me first okay let me just complete and ask me a question after that okay this is a very important question let me complete okay suppose if the interest rates decline by 1% sorry to interrupt you okay please because this is important focus who asked the question aapne pucha tha kisne pucha aap please please focus here abhi sun lo fir ek bar baad mein puchna i'll give you full opportunity after i'm through with this this is the most important concept so if the if the interest rates decline 
from 9 to 8 percent. A 10 year bond has actually given you 6.71 percent appreciation. If you strongly believe the interest rates are going to decline, which bond you should buy? A 30 year bond, 20 year bond or a 10 year bond? 20 year. A 20 year bond because it will give you maximum returns, okay? Because a bond which is carrying a 20 year will move a gallop. The price will shoot up fast. Whereas a bond which is 10 year will not go up that much. It will also give you appreciation. Okay. But if you are not so much confident about interest rates are not going to decline, then you can park it at a 10 year instead of 20 year. But still you are with the, the interest rates are going to come down. Okay. But if you are still very conservative, go for a 5 year bond because 1% decline will give you only close to about 4% increase. Okay. Go for a 3 year bond if you don't want to take any chance. By 2% hai. Those three years ka bond hai. Wo aapko agar isme loss bhi hoga aur gain bhi hoga. Hai na? To abhi to aapko gain dikhra hai. Next slide mein aapko loss hoga. Agar interest rate gidne ki jagah you know bard gaye to kya hoga? Okay. So here you are gaining 2.5%. Now if you go down that ladder. If you buy a bond which is 2 year bond. Then you will get only 1.7% increase in the capital appreciation. Coupon rate alag hai. Ye to aapko around 1.7% gain mil raha hai if interest rates comes down. Okay. Okay, just one second. One sheet is happening. Okay, the reversal part of it, and then ask question. Huh? आपके पास है ना वो आपके पास sheet आपके हाथ में भी है वो. Okay, now just look at here, and I'll zoom. Okay, I'll show you again. Don't worry. Let me just show you. Now see the reverse phenomena. The coupon rate was nine percent. Coupon rate has gone up to ten percent. Okay, now what see the 100 rupees bond has come equivalent to 91 crashing. How much you lost? 8.1 percent. Okay, you have lost 38 percent. Okay, you have gained more. You have coupon rate bada and you have lost on a shuru. So you lose 8.5 percent. If you are holding a 10 year bond, you are losing 6.14 percent. So that means if the interest rates go up, the bond price are going to fall. Okay, and you are going to lose. So if you made a strategy to buy a 20 year bond, you thought the interest rates are going to decline, but instead of declining, it went up. So, in that case, you will find that almost like 8.5% money you are going to lose. But if it goes in your favor, then you are sitting on almost like a 10% gain. Okay, so, so that means think 10 times before buying a bond, a mutual fund buying a, a bond directly or a mutual fund for a long duration bond. Short duration bonds are very less risky. So look at the, the short two-year two year bond. It is going to give you only a loss of 1.7%. It is carrying a coupon rate of 9%, but you are losing 1.74%. When you check your, I mean, a mutual fund, if you have invested in a bond, though the coupon rate is 9%, okay? Suppose he has invested everything in one bond. The coupon is 9%, but he is going to invest in 10 bonds, okay? So there will be a weighted average rate of coupon rate, which will tell in your screen, okay? But you are not going to get that money. You are going to get almost like 1.5% to 1.7% lower. So that means your return will be how much? 7.5% there about or 7.25%. If the coupon rate was 9%, in that year, your mutual fund will going to tell you that you are getting only 7.25% return and not 9% return. Is that okay? Okay, so I'm just keep, I mean, opening the floor for questions. Yeah. Ab, ab Pehle question, aap kada, kis kada? Aap kada. You got it. So bolta, aapko mil jayega. Ab main isko zoom kar deta. अच्छा एक एक और एक चीज सुन लो एक लास्ट वाली मैं इसको रह गया था अब हम चेक करना चाहते थे ड्यूरेशन क्योंकि ड्यूरेशन मकालेज ड्यूरेशन मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन बताया था तो हमने क्या चेक करा ये सेम वाला 20 साल वाला 2020 में शुरू हुआ 2040 में खत्म हुआ नो परसेंट कूपन था ईल्ड अभी 8% आ गई ठीक है द बॉन्ड प्राइस इज गोइंग टू गो अप इजंट इट सो ड्यूरेशन इज 10.7 एंड मकालेज ड्यूरेशन इज सॉरी मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन 9.6 ओके okay, इसका मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन कितना आया 20 साल का 9.6 ओके नो चेक हियर इट इज कमिंग टू 9.8 वेरी नियर टू द सेम नंबर ओके व्हाई सो आई विल जस्ट टेल यू व्हाई देयर इज अ स्मॉल यू नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन दैट मींस द परसेंटेज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन डिक्रीज इन द रिटर्न एज गिवन यू नो मॉडिफाइड ड्यूरेशन इज टेलिंग यू दैट 
you know this bond is going to give you if there is a 1% decline in the interest rate it is going to give you 9.6% increase in the price okay whereas when you check the screen where we calculate it you are getting 9.82 very close to it okay very very close to it but not exactly okay why because you know uh, uh, the duration this comes when you are calculating the return here 9.82 it assumes there is a linear relationship between the interest rate and the bond prices whereas the relationship is not linear it is curvature okay that is i'm going to explain that after it there is a convexity of bonds okay little bit of a utni knowledge aapko chahiye hoti hai bas usse aada nahi abhi chalte hain aap bataiye question puchiye aap so the last question is very intelligent man baki pehle to question batata hu koi baat nahi the last question is the most important question the most important because you know last question i'll answer first ab pehle wale do questions bhi leta hu aapke second hai ki bhai ab you know the us is the mother of all the markets okay if the interest rates in us starts going up or going down it impacts whole of the world normally most of the world is actually pegged to us okay if the inflation in us is going up which is because of certain reasons of you know the crude price going up or the the price of wheat and pulses and everything going up so that means every, whole of the world is going to experience that okay so we look at the us okay if the us fed is tightening up the interest rates or loosening up the interest rate the impact will be felt in india okay if interest rates start rising in us it's rising it's gone up from you know uh, the 10 the the 10 year yield Uh, was about uh, say about a year back was two percent now it's about five percent it touched and it's come down to four and a half percent okay so India is also going to react that way so in if you look at last uh, you know one year the interest rates in India has also gone up a little bit though of course it was starting to decline I'll just show you that अभी हम देखेंगे graph देखेंगे India का graph देखेंगे and US का graph देखेंगे okay that will answer it okay that is there any correlation between India and US of course there's no direct correlation but US markets are going to impact Indian markets. Not only in my world over, okay. Both equities as well as the bonds. Fine. What was your first question? No, they, just hold on. This data is not tracking any government security. This is a hypothetical example. Okay. It can be a government bond. It can be a, a corporate bond. I am just saying there is a face value and coupon rate. I am not saying it's a government security. Okay. Fine. I will go to the government security uh, shortly. Okay. Uh, that is what i have explained you know bond which are going to have a higher uh, you know time macaulay's duration uh, or you know uh, they will you know have a more sensitive to the interest rates okay fine that this, this was our understanding only okay yeah mike did is here what's your good name utkarsh ha acha tumhi hai utkarsh aage kya shivare okay good good tum comment dete rehna bhaiya <laughs> Okay, you are going to get good class participation marks. I mean, you are not going to get good class participation marks. Okay, you are going to get good class participation marks. Okay, you are going to get good class participation marks. Okay, you are going to get good class participation marks. Okay, you are going to get good class participation marks. Okay, you are going to but definitely you work out anything though modified duration will be slightly less than the uh, modified duration for macaulay's duration so we have to just look at the construct of the formula that's not very important okay that is not very important and very significant to look at okay but definitely if you have calculated duration and somehow you are not able to calculate the modified duration you can assume a slightly less okay but just we have to just find out whether it is it will hold 100% truth in that i have not done that i mean okay Okay. Any other questions, please? Sir, 
which one is the better for calculating the duration? It is modified or the mechanical duration? <coughs> See, I told you that both are different. One is the duration. Okay. Macaulay's duration. The second one is the modified duration. will tell you the one. The sensitivity to the interest rate. Ek percent rate of interest rate kam jada honne se kitna wo hoga. Wo ek dono alak chee jaya bata rahi hai. Ek bata rahi hai ki iska duration kya hai. Duration means higher the duration the bond, more riskier is the bond. Now, the second step is how risky is the bond. That answer is given by modified duration. Because, you know, the, dura the duration जो निकाली है, उसका ही uh, extension है, modified duration. उसी के formula से ही modified duration निकला है, it gives you, it gives you a pinpoint how much the, 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 the bond will react to a 1% change in the interest rates. Okay? आपने, आप CD बनाई हुई है, आप CD से छत पे पहुंच गए, आप छत पे जाके कोई काम कर रहे हैं, आपने जो करना था, वो करना था. So, yet CD, duration is just like climbing the stairs and then finally you reach the rooftop. So, now the benefit you are going to get at the rooftop is actually the modified duration. So, it's made from that. Can you please tell me what is the meaning of that 10.37? It's in percentage or it's in... No, it is basically telling you that it will take years. How many years it will take to recover your principal amount? What about the modified duration? That should be, that is in percentage. If 1% change in the interest rate, then 9.360% change in the price. Price. So, you are seeing this here. This is 1% change in the price. So, what was the change in the, the bond, the, this thing, bond price? 9.82%. And look at here. It is telling you, 9.6, very close to the data. I told you that there is no relation, linear relation, nahi hai, curve relation. Hai. That's why you not get the exact answer. Oh, sir, if we buy bond between the maturity period. Very close to the maturity period. Between maturity period. Between kya, matab, somewhere between in the middle, mein, haan, yeah. So, then what is the reaction of the bond duration? So, if you have a bond duration, See, आप ये हम मान रहे हैं अभी कि आप यहाँ हम मान रहे हैं कि पूरा साल पड़े हुए हैं। आपकी जितनी maturity रह जाएगी, फिर आपको उसके हिसाब से calculate करना। Bond modified duration, मकाली duration will change, okay? As the number of years remaining to maturity are shortening, the duration and मकाली duration and modified duration going to change, okay? So we are going to understand that आगे आ रहा है सब चीज़ें। भाई ये देखो ना आपने क्या देखा था हमने हमने जो फॉर्मूला लगाया था यहाँ पर यहाँ पर ओके व्हेन वी कैलकुलेट द फॉर्मूला ओके सो ड्यूरेशन हाँ so what is saying settlement maturity coupon and frequency so there is no 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 mention of any phase value phase value ko koi lena dena nahi hai is formula mein okay at the back end it is calculating that okay we can even ab main aapko dikhata hu see that's why i just wanted to show a simplified version otherwise we can calculate the macaulay's duration like this this is a long formula okay if i do the long formula then you will come to know that what all has been used to calculate the duration okay i'm just not doing it because it's unnecessarily going to take time and not solve any purpose okay just go through this you know exercise of this bond okay looking at the the longer version just because the time shortage i'm not covering that okay so bunker just go through this and ask me the question after you're gone okay i'm not answering your question at the moment because I don't want to go into, I just want to explain only the concept and not into the dynamics of the formula, okay? Fine. If you have to doctorate in the course, then there is time for the time. Now there is time for the time. Okay? If you have any problems now, we know that we have to know that we have to know the basics. Now, how do you calculate that? By, you know, regressing the return of the market as well as return of the stock and then we use the formula and calculate if I say beta is 1, 1 means, I mean, it's as risky as the market. 1.5, it is more risky than the market. 0.5, it is less risky than the market. And that should suffice you. But you want to go further and see how this has been calculated. That's the second part of it, okay? But 
The only concept which you should understand is that, you know, how the stock it is. Is it risky or less risky? Similarly, you know, higher modification um, uh, in Makali's duration, the stock is more risky. It will be more sensitive to the interest rate. That is all we want to know at the moment, okay? Now we want to go into the depth of that, how the formula has been worked out on a face value or on the coupon rate. That is a second part of it. We are not touching at the moment that. Normally, I touch that, okay? But it consumes a lot of time and people get all confused and bored. So that's why I'm not touching. Uske liye aap dekh lega. Abhi ruk jo. Yeah. Last one. So it means the duration hai, normal duration hai. So you can even figure it out. Ah, so it's a, it's like you know how much years in how many years you get your principal back. It's like that only. Ha, wo payback period type hi hai. Discounted payback period. Agar aaj apne karao ho to. Ha. Capital budgeting. Okay. Fine. The concepts comes from there only, basically. Okay. Ha, aapka question. Aapko sab samay mein Good. Okay. So, uh, so let's move on to now. So there are you know various kinds of bonds. Okay. Overnight bonds, liquid bonds, money market bonds. Okay, and I have given, you know, leave duration, short duration, alteration, all this can be had from your, I mean, your uh, moneycontrol.com as well as I have written, you know, this thing. You know, this is what the FDs are giving you today. Okay, FDs are giving uh, currently by all the banks around 7, 8% to 7.1% depending on bank to bank. For senior citizens, the rate is a little higher. Okay, this is, you know, uh, I mean, tenure wise interest rates, it's close to about 7.2%. There's a purpose why I gave it. Okay, I'll tell you later on why. Then debt mutual funds, we have medium because you know uh, what happens is that uh, low duration funds low duration fund they directly compete with fds okay fine so people have a choice either to buy a fixed deposit of one year or buy a low duration bond okay <laughs> earlier people were buying only low duration bonds because they were tax benefit okay some of the tax benefits have been taken by the government from this budget so i'll explain that but still they remain a better bet against a fd Okay, medium duration bond, medium to long duration bond, long duration bonds, guild fund. So these are, there are a lot of ones. So I'm going to explain them. Credit risk uh, fund. Okay, I'm going to explain that. Here, basically, you know, uh, the this is mutual funds. Okay, so mutual fund is going to invest. Okay, he's going to invest in companies which are not AAA rated companies. Either they are AA, single A or maybe triple B. Now, they generally carry a higher coupon rate. If, you know, suppose if, uh, you know, Reliance comes up with uh, a bond, it says that we are going to give you 7.5%. Okay. DLF will come, if say 7.5%, people will always, people will buy uh, Reliance and nobody is going to buy DLF. Suppose the choice comes at the same time. But if, suppose DLF says we are going to give you 8.5% because their rating is less, assuming. Their rating is less, their credit rating is, say, single A. So, they have to give a higher coupon rate because there is a more risk involved. Okay. Fine. So, uh, just let me go lower oh okay thank you Okay, so a credit risk bond will invest and give you a slightly higher return compared to other bonds which invest in this thing. So we can just have a look. Uh, this is, you know, uh, sorry, this is the entire overnight fund, all the bonds. I have said what is the Macaulay's duration for each kind of a security. Okay, fine. So don't worry, I'm going to come back. But my purpose was first to show something else. So, uh, a one-year debt funds. Suppose if you have to analyze all the funds, which are the better ones. Okay, we all know, you know, when to invest in bonds. If you expect the interest rates to go down drastically, you should be investing in bonds which are long-duration bonds and not the short-duration bonds. The first bond is a, the shortest-duration bond, which is called the overnight fund, where the money, you know, uh, the person who needs money, needs only for a overnight, one day, like banks, you know. So, there is a fund which invests in overnight 
फॉर ओवर नाइट वन वन डे वन वन डे के लिए इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं सो दैट फंड मिराई एसेट इज गिविंग सिक्स एंड हाफ परसेंट रिटर्न सो आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन अगेन दे इज अ फंड विच इज कॉल्ड मिराई एसेट फंड विच इन्वेस्ट ओनली इन सिक्योरिटीज ऑफ बॉन्ड विच आर जस्ट फॉर वन डे ओके शॉर्ट मोस्ट आई मीन फॉर वन डे लाइक यू नो वन बैंक से दैट आई रिक्वायर मनी फॉर ओनली वन डे ओके सो दे आर गोइंग टू बोरो ओके फ्रॉम दिस म्यूचुअल फंड एंड दे विल रिटर्न बैक इट ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे विथ सिक्स एंड हाफ परसेंट सो दिस बॉन्ड विल से वी आर गिविंग सिक्स एंड हाफ एज सिंपल इज दैट सपोज मेरा एसेट हैज लॉट ऑफ मनी फ्रॉम ऑल द इन्वेस्टर्स से हंड्रेड करोड नो अ बैंक कम्स एंड से दैट स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सेज दैट आई नीड हंड्रेड करोड फॉर वन डे आई गिव यू सिक्स एंड हाफ परसेंट रिटर्न फाइन so that 100 crores is for all the people who have invested so how much return they are going to get 6.5% so similarly that fund is investing on a daily basis with from banks to banks banks to bank and they are able to generate 6.5% return assuming in a very simple format okay fine okay now liquid funds here the money is invested in money market instruments okay cp cd treasury bills which are for 90 days okay or something it is giving 7.06% return birla which is a top performing fund is giving you 7.06% it's a liquid fund now earlier you could buy a liquid fund today and uh, sell it on the third day and you get for three two days 7.06% all the companies you know corporate world who were sitting with huge amount of money and all the extra funds were simply you know parked into the liquid mutual funds and taken out the next day whenever they require so that means on an average they were getting 7% because you know companies they have a current account in the current account they don't earn any interest isn't it so i'll give you an example when i was working in a company called idea cellular okay so at that time most of our customers long back our customers were all postpaid of course now the, it's mostly prepaid so we had postpaid customers all across india all across villages there about say 10000 villages or whatever so everywhere the money was collected okay from a local bank there and given to the main branch in the like suppose the you know for example a place called betul in madhya pradesh the money is collected from the betul customers it will get transferred to say for example a head office in indore from in indore it will you know transfer to our mumbai office on the same very day so this was this process is happening all over india so all the money at the end of the day will be reflected in our head office it was collected any nook and corner of india so many villages so we this is called you know a cms system okay a system we you know started where you know we uh, uh, appointed certain bankers to do this process and they collected the money and all the money was pooled in our head office so on the end of the day we'll have some 100 crores or 200 crores coming in our account fine and there was a treasury uh, management person in our head office at the rank of vice president he was just tra tracking how much money is coming how much is my cash requirement for the next 30 days how much is the idle cash so whatever is the idle cash he will put that money into the liquid funds this way he would generate about you know about a, a return or in terms of absolute amount he would make uh, earning about say for example 5 crores or 10 crores a month he will earn in i mean return From the company, fine. So, if he doesn't do it, then five crore will be there. He will not get any current account. We are not going to get any any of these things. So, this was he was putting entire money in liquid funds, okay, and taking out, taking in any time. So, there was no exit load, no entry load that time or liquid funds. But now there is an exit load which has been introduced. If you take out the money within a week, some percentage is deducted. So, some charm has been gone out after this liquid fund. The corporate people were using it quite often. for the purpose of parking their surplus fund now whether they are still doing or not i don't know then low duration fund here it's having a low macaulay's duration how much we can just check here isko hum na yahan kar dete hain ओके लिक्विड हो गया लिक्विड फंड अगर देखें तो लिक्विड फंड क्या है मेच्योरिटी नो लॉन्गर देन 91 वन डेज ओके सो हेयर दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन टू दोज सिक्योरिटी झलक पलक क्या है झलक 
So, what, what are liquid funds? For how long the money is invested uh, in that? 91 days. So, they are investing only in instruments which are only having a maturity of 91 days. Like, you know, CP, CDs, treasury bills, utne type ke instrument, 90 din ke liye paisa dete hai aur return leke a jati hai. Thik hai? So, so, this is liquid fund. Okay. Then, low duration fund. A low duration fund is basically, the top performing low duration fund is giving 7.76%. Okay. Now, how much of fixed deposit, Jalak, how much is the fixed deposit giving you today? 7, 7.25 or something. So, suppose it is giving around 7.25. Will you put your money in fixed deposit or ICICA potential uh, low duration fund? Ha, low duration is giving higher. Suppose they have these lower. That, then the choice becomes simple. Okay. But uh, now coming to the taxation part. You know, in a fixed deposit, whenever you, suppose as an individual investor, suppose you have 10 lakh rupees and you have put it in uh, what do you FD. Mein. Okay, fine. You have put it and you have got 7.5% suppose interest. So, how much will you get interest in the year? 75,000? 10 lakh on 75,000? Okay. Yeah, suppose it's not 10 lakh, it's 1 crore. So, you have got 7 lakh rupees interest. Mil gaya. Isn't it? Now, you have to pay 30% tax on it. Assuming you are in 30% tax bracket. 30% tax bracket kya hogi? Maybe 12 lakh ya 15 lakh se upar hoga. 30% tax bracket lag jati hai. To aapko to yehi se 7.5 lakh mil raha. Baki aur bhi aapki income hogi. Fine. Assuming you have other income also. So you will be paying 30% tax. In case your other income is less, still you will be paying 20% tax bracket. Okay. And the bank is going to deduct a tax deducted at source. A 10% at source bhi kar jayega. Of course that benefit you will take when you are filing your return because your actual liability will depend upon your slab rate and whatever tax you have paid, you will take the credit and pay the balance with the government of India. Okay, fine. So, that's a fixed deposit. But when you invest in a low duration fund, you don't have to pay tax. You have to pay tax only when you sell it. Suppose you purpose was to hold the bond for say, three years. Maturity nahi hai. Bond aapne kareel liya. To aap to koi iski maturity aapke haath mein aadhi nahi, to fund manager ke baas mein hai. आपने तो बॉन्ड खरीदा आपने 3 साल के लिए काम है इन्वेस्ट करूंगा तो इसके ऊपर क्या है इसके ऊपर व्हेन यू सेल इट यू हैव टू पे कैपिटल गेन्स टैक्स ओके फाइन एंड देयर इज अ डिफरेंट रेट फॉर कैपिटल गेन सपोज इट्स 20% लोअर रेट ओके एंड यू यू आर सिटिंग ऑन अ 30% ब्रैकेट सो यू गेट एन एडवांटेज ऑफ पेइंग लेस ओके फाइन एंड देन यू हैव टू पे द टैक्स ओनली एट द एंड ऑफ द 3 इयर्स रादर देन एवरी ईयर सो यू हैव टू मेक अ चॉइस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर ओन this thing that whether you want to pay every year or you, don't, you want to get a, you're getting a benefit because there is a, tech, a tax rate difference between the long term capital gains tax and a, a, a slab rate. So you have to make a choice depending upon income tax assessment of yours. Okay. So normally you will find a low duration which is giving you 7.76%. It will be a more tax efficient as well as uh, a higher interest return also because here you're getting 7.76%. Okay. And FD we may be giving 7.25. Okay. Now, uh, so you may choose a, a, a low duration of ICICICI. Is that okay? Achha, let's go to, now this is low duration. So low duration, let's look at. A low duration puts money uh, between 6 to 12 months maturity. So they are going to invest a one year treasury bond or a one year CD or a one year uh, CP or any instrument which they, I mean, the, the, the person who uh, is issuing, uh, I mean, uh, is, I mean, the mutual fund is investing in these bonds. Okay, fine. They are giving money for only for 12 months, assume, or six months in between. Okay, fine. And they are earning at the moment by doing this, they are, the ICIC uh, prudential is earning 7.6 percent. By following this mechanism, by putting money in six to 12 months kind of security, they are able to earn 7.76 percent uh, return. Now we come to the short duration. Okay. So, a short duration. Ah, ek cheez mein abhi yaar aata, mein bhul gaya. Now, you know, before the budget, before this budget, uh, the low duration was always sought of. Everybody was putting money in low duration. Nobody was putting in fixed deposit. And the banks, you know, there was a bank lobby which was trying to convince the finance minister that there is a, you know, a great advantage in a low duration fund as compared to an FD. So, please bring that at par 
take that benefit from the mutual fund so that we are at par otherwise nobody is coming in depositing the money in fixed deposit and that benefit was that when you sell a low duration bond after 3 years you get a indexation benefit like suppose after 3 years the in 3 years the inflation is around say 5% per annum so that means in after 3 years uh the inflation total inflation will be 15% so there is actually a index which tells you that so i'm just giving in a in a layman language so the inflation has gone up by 15% okay suppose you had invested 100 bucks and it has become 121 so you have to pay tax only between 21 minus 15 so you have to pay tax on 6 rupees and not the entire 21 rupees so that benefit was coming because of this benefit available indexation benefit available so any earnings earned over and above the inflation will not be taxed okay and it will be the only difference which will be taxed as a capital gain but in a fixed deposit there is nothing such like that so is why this benefit is given to a fixed deposit and why not to us either give us the same benefit or take away the benefit from the mutual fund so government said let's take away the benefit from the mutual fund so no indexation benefit is now given so that's why the charm of uh, a low duration has become a little less is that okay then a short duration uh, mutual funds short duration no pnb paribas so what i have done i picked up the best mutual fund there would be many funds okay fine so i have picked up the highest one which is giving you 7.79% return okay short duration so what is a short duration 1 to 3 years. years okay just read it and let me know so i'll otherwise i have to go to the shuffle to the slide so it is giving 7 so as the duration is going up you find that the in the the returns are going up isn't it isme aap dekho 7.06 7.76 7.79 what is signaling it is signaling at this time when i picked up the returns the interest rates were softening up interest rate niche aa rahe the and as i'm coming up the ladder going to a more high duration funds they are going giving you better and better return okay ab yahan dekho ultra short duration 7.5% what is the This thing, इसका क्या है जो बताया था आपने तो बताओ ना थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ ओके फाइन सो ऊपर वाला वन टू थ्री इयर्स था दैट्स वाई यू नो इट इज गिविंग यू सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट ओनली लिटिल लोअर देन द शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन मीडियम ड्यूरेशन एट पॉइंट टू टू परसेंट नाउ अ मीडियम ड्यूरेशन इज गिविंग यू एट पॉइंट टू टू एज अगेंस्ट अ लो ड्यूरेशन ओनली सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एज वी आर गोइंग ऑन अ हायर ड्यूरेशन द बॉन्ड्स आर बिकमिंग रिस्कियर but they can move both direction they can give you even a lower return than the low duration or a higher return than the low duration depending on the interest rate scenario prevailing in the country at this point of time the interest rates have actually softened in this period in the last 3 months that's why a medium duration fund was giving you a higher return compared to a low duration otherwise you find that the medium duration is giving you a, a lower return than the low uh, a, a short low duration i'll just show you the chart i'll show you the interest rate uh, you know in india how it has actually in the last one year it has reacted seeing the government uh, curve okay medium to long run nippon is giving 8.4% so this is a long term long term bond fund how much is giving 8.44 so when the interest rates are dropping it makes sense yaar ye chalao to sahi ye battery is khatam ho rahi hai isko on karo ha maine mujhe laga hai maine to main chashma nahi pehna hua tha yaar mujhe अब आ गया ठीक है हाँ मुझे उस टाइम लगा है ओके सो मीडियम ड्यूरेशन आ गया मीडियम टू लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन 8.4 पॉइंट फोर इज इट ओके लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन मोस्ट रिस्कियस्ट फंड इज गिविंग यू 8.65 पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव नॉ झलक टेल मी वाई दिस फंड इज गिविंग यू एट पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव परसेंट एंड वाई अ लो ड्यूरेशन इज गिविंग यू अ लो सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स परसेंट वॉट कैन बी द पॉसिबल सिनेरियो वाई A fund is giving you higher, and under what circumstances it will happen that the low, long duration fund will give you a lower return compared to a low duration fund? Abi kya chiz ho gayi ki jisse ki long duration fund jada return de raha hai, aur kya ho sakta hai jab low duration fund jada dega aur long duration kam dega? Have you do you know the answer or no? First, pata hai? Jo maine explain karaya abhi to karaya hai sab chiye. acha chalo ab you ask up just raise the hand i'm not going to ask the question to you just raise the question if you know 
why this phenomena has taken place. Just raise your hands. I thought I have a able to just explain it very properly. No? Okay. Uh, yeah. Anand Patai. So, the interest rate is very low. Interest rate is Interest rate is very low. Interest rate is very low. Interest rate is Interest rate is very low. Interest rate is very low. हाँ वो बॉन्ड की बॉन्ड की रिटर्न बढ़ जाएगी हमने देखा तो अभी तक तो इस दौरान में जब मैंने ये फिगर आपके सामने रख रहा हूँ I went to the moneycontrol.com I just downloaded all the numbers I was finding that as we graduate to the long duration funds I start getting a higher return from them in this period because this period coincides with a interest rate fall in India okay आपको नेक हाँ आपको आपको लगता है कि यार लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन में मुझे दो परसेंट मिल रहा है रिटर्न और लो ड्यूरेशन में मुझे आठ परसेंट मिल रहा है ऐसा भी हो सकता है ओके फाइन इज दैट ओके हैव यू दिस दिस वाज यू नोइंग एंड वांटेड टू एक्सप्लेन आई जस्ट वांटेड टू चेक इज दैट ओके सो हेयर अ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन इज गिविंग यू एट बिकॉज नाउ दिस गिव्स यू अ स्ट्रैटेजी ओके एज एन इन्वेस्टर अब कल को आप सपोज या तो खुद इन्वेस्ट करते हो या लोगों को एडवाइस करते हो तो आप लोगों को कब एडवाइस करोगे कि लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन फंड बाई करो जब इंटरेस्ट रेट गिरने लगे हो आपको लगेगा इंटरेस्ट रेट गिर जाएंगे आप फोरकास्ट करोगे इंटरेस्ट रेट की अपनी आपकी कंपनी है फोरकास्ट करके बताएगी अभी इंटरेस्ट रेट साथ साथ चल रहा है एक साल के बाद छह परसेंट हो जाएगा देन यू आर गोइंग टू रिकमेंड पीपल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रिस्क प्रोफाइल क्या आपका रिस्क प्रोफाइल है बताओ आप कहते हो कि मैं कुछ भी कर सकता हूं आई एम एबल टू टेक ऑल काइंड ऑफ रिस्क देन आज देम टू पार्क दर मनी इन लॉन्ग टर्म दिस थिंग इफ द पर्सन सेज कि मेरा अगर नीचे गिर जाता तो मुझे हार्ट अटैक आ जाता है तो उसे बोलो फिर तो आप जो है लो ड्यूरेशन में रखो या लिक्विड फंड में रखो इट ऑल डिपेंड अपॉन हर एक कैपेसिटी के ऊपर जो आप वेल्थ मैन एज अ वेल्थ मैनेजर यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दैट रिगर ऑफ फर्स्ट रिस्क प्रोफाइलिंग योर कस्टमर ओके फाइन एंड देन एडवाइज हिम अटेबल इन्वेस्टमेंट सो दिस बाई प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग दिस वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू नो वट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजीज वी कैन डू ओके Then dynamic, dynamic bond क्या है कहीं पर भी पैसा लगा सकता है यू गिव अ फुल फ्रीडम टू द फंड मैनेजर भाई जहां मर्जी पैसा लगाओ लो ड्यूरेशन शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन किस में भी लगा दो तो ही विल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन इज सिनेरियो ऑन इज ओन यू नो जजमेंट वेदर इंटरेस्ट रेट सर गो अप और गो डाउन इज गोइंग जब उसको पैसा बोलते हो कि भाई मैंने लिक्विड में लगाना है तो फिर देन ही इज बाउंड टू इन्वेस्ट इन टू दो इंस्ट्रूमेंट बाई डेफिनेशन विच इज बिन गिवन जो इसकी डेफिनेशन है उसी में पैसा लगा सकता है उससे बाहर नहीं जा सकता लेकिन डायनेमिक में ही कैन इन्वेस्ट इन एनी बॉन्ड बिकॉज यू हैव गिवन योर फ्री हैंड कि जहां मर्जी पैसा लगाओ हाँ कुछ क्वेश्चन कर पूछा आप ओके अब खत्म करेंगे ब्रेक के लिए कॉर्पोरेट बॉन्ड फंड्स हेयर द मनी इज इन्वेस्टेड ओनली इन कंपनीज विच इज गिविंग यू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन गिल्ट एंड फंड दिस इज ऑल इन जी सेक्स गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स टेन ईयर जी सेक्स देन क्रेडिट रिस्क फंड दिस इज giving you the highest 9.12% now tell me if you know the reason why it is giving you higher return just raise your hands if you understand why a credit risk fund is giving the highest return compared to the other fund just raise hands i am not going to ask just raise hands just raise hands if you know thoda bhi inkling hai raise kar do ha uh, i am going to ask yeah bataiye ha wo to credit risk fund to risk kiya risk ki kyun hai ha bataiye हाँ एब्सोल्युटली राइट वंडरफुल व्हाट्स अ गुड नेम यशवंत यशवंत तो ठीक है क्लास पार्टिसिपेशन चमका दिया आपने ओके सो दिस इज एक्चुअली दिस फंड इज इन्वेस्टिंग इन यू नो कंपनीज लाइक अ लो कंपनी जिसका नाम नहीं सुना होगा आपने उस फंड में पैसा लगाया हुआ लो क्वालिटी अब पैसा रिलायंस में लगाओगे तो रिलायंस में तो सात टका देगा आपको अगर ये पैसा आपने कोई रेलिगर में लगाया सपोज विच इज यू नो इनफीरियर कंपनी टू से रिलायंस और सपोज यूनिटेक वो तो खत्म ही होगी कंपनी लाइक यहां हाँ उसमें डिफॉल्ट के चांस ज्यादा होते हैं बट वो रिटर्न भी ज्यादा देते हैं कूपन अब वो एक अगर सपोज मेरी कंपनी है मैं बोल रहा हूं मैं बारह परसेंट रिटर्न दूंगा आप लगाओगे मेरे में आपको पता ही नहीं नहीं आप वैसे लगा दोगे हम ये प्रोफेसर की चलो यार प्रोफेसर को पैसा दे इतना कुछ दिखाया पैसा डूब भी गया था कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं बट नो बडी इज गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट इन माई कंपनी हाँ अगर रिस्क लेने की कैपेसिटी है तो मैं आपको 12 परसेंट दूंगा और रिलायंस वाले आपको 7 परसेंट देंगे क्योंकि मेरी रेटिंग है तो आप दैट दैट 
अगर सपोज मैं लेके पैसा रखूंगा और मेरी रेटिंग हो जाती है तो दैट विल दैट विल बी क्लासिफाइड एज क्रेडिट रिस्क फंड तभी क्रेडिट रिस्क फंड आपको सबसे ज्यादा दे रहा है ओके okay? अच्छा अब लास्ट लाइट रहेगी बस खत्म ब्रेक टाइम कितना हो गया हाँ तो बस ब्रेक उतनी रख लेंगे ना देखो ये है एक्विटी फंड का रिटर्न अब देखो डेट फंड और एक्विटी फंड आपके सामने लार्ज कैप निपोन has is a 3 years return of equity large cap nippon has given 31% now this was about a month back okay ab har mahine thoda thoda change ho jata hai itna nahi hai ki niche gir jayega ye 30 aur 31 ke aas pass chal raha market wahi ki wahi hai kahin nahi gayi large mid large and mid cap uh, sdfc is giving you 32.73% mid cap quant mid cap fund is giving 40% small cap quant small cap is giving 47 so look at the glaring when the stock markets are galloping and there is a bull run in process the returns are magnified but imagine when the markets are coming down the same very funds will be giving less so people so there are all kinds of people you know who uh, like you know i invest almost like 40% in debt funds that's my aim 60% in equity the new norm is 120 minus your age should be in your equity 100 and debt should be debt 120 aapki age kitni hai say say 30 suppose 30 120 minus 30 kitna hua 90 so that should be in equity rest should be in debt i mean this correlation kya hai ha wo baad mein karenge chalo ab break har cheez ka ab na aap har cheez ka jawab mangna shuru